Today I'm going to show you how to create your Windows 8.1 installation media so you can do a clean install of Windows 8.1 on your computer at any time. Regardless of manufacturer, regardless of where you got your computer, this is going to show you how to create either an SD card, a USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO that you can use to reinstall Windows 8.1 on your computer at any time. Um, you can actually do this completely legally and very easily straight through Microsoft now. Um, first thing you're going to need is a, either an SD card. What I've got here is a 16 gigabyte micro SD card with an adapter. If you want to get one of these, uh, go ahead and uh, check the links down in the description below or click on the screen up here. A little eye will pop up. That'll take you to all the links in the video where you can get the, the files and the hardware to do this. I would recommend using an SD card because they're nice and small. They're compact. You can put them in a little case, store them away uh, very easily. But you can just as easily use a, a USB flash drive or a DVD or you can create an ISO that you can put onto these later. So, uh, once you have determined what kind of media you want to use, you're just going to go to uh, the website that I will provide in the description below or click on the little eye up here. And we're going to go to this website. And they actually make it super easy. This is a Microsoft site. And it walks you through the whole process, but pretty much all you have to do is scroll down to the, the big purple button that says Create Media. That'll download a little installer thing. You're going to go ahead and uh, install that or download that. Once you have it downloaded, you're just going to double click on the file. Super, super easy. It's a straight Windows file. No weird ass honky uh, torrent files. You're going to choose your language. We're in the United States. Your edition, most people are going to select Windows 8.1. Uh, if you want to do the 8.1 single language, it might be a slightly smaller file, but most people are going to select Windows 8.1 or maybe Pro. We're selecting Windows 8.1 today, and most people are 64-bit. It's actually hard to find a 32-bit Windows 8.1 system these days. So Windows 8.1, 64-bit, next. And here's where you choose whether you want a USB flash drive or an ISO file. If you choose USB flash drive, it's going to create uh, the create a bootable flash drive, uh, and it's only going to be a one-time thing. You're not going to end up with an ISO that you can use to create uh, create a bootable disk in the future. So I'm actually going to select an ISO file. If you want to go straight onto a USB flash drive, that's super easy. But uh, if you ever have to do it again, you're going to end up re-downloading. Click next, and it's asking us where we want to put it. I'm just going to click save there, and it's going to go ahead and download the official, legit, latest version ISO straight from Microsoft, and it's going to make an ISO that we can then put on our flash drives. So I'm going to speed up the video for this part. We'll come back when it's almost done. All right, this is just about done. If you had selected the bootable USB drive option, uh, it would go ahead and create your bootable SD card or USB drive for you. Since I selected the ISO method, we'll go ahead and uh, show you how to uh, take that ISO and then put it on a bootable media or even a DVD from this point. Um, Microsoft actually does make a tool for that as well. They call it their uh, USB DVD download tool. I'll put a link to that down in the description below as well as right up here on the little eye guy. Um, just go ahead and go to the site, click download. Download that file. Once you have that open, go ahead and uh, double click on that. And it does install. You could also use any number of applications for this. There's Rufus, there's all kinds of uh, non-installer based uh, bootable CD creators. Anything you want to use, you can use it. I'm just using this for the video because it is officially sanctioned by Microsoft. Once that's installed, you should end up with a uh, some of this stuff here. Should end up with an icon on the desktop like this. Click yes. And it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is uh, point it to where you uh, where you save the file and just check the download. So let's go ahead and let it finish its process here. It is complete. 
and it actually gives you a link right here to where you can open the DVD burner. And uh, I don't have a DVD burner installed, so the link appears to be broken on this particular computer. But you can use uh, Win ISO, you can use Image Burn, you can use Alcohol. You can take this ISO and burn it using any standard image burning program. But I'm going to show you how to burn it or make a bootable SD card or USB drive. So on the Microsoft Windows 7, it actually calls it the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Don't worry about that. All it's doing is creating bootable media. So you open that, click browse. We're going to go to our folder where we saved it. Double click the ISO file. And then I'm going to use the SD card reader in the laptop. You could just as easily use a micro USB reader. You could use a um, any kind of uh, card reader to install that. Click next, USB device, and we're going to select uh, this SD card. If you're not sure which one it is, you can double check. You don't want to overwrite your hard drive. We're going to go ahead and click begin copying. Prompt you to erase it. It's going to reformat and create a bootable sector on the disk. All right, it's almost done here. While that's copying, you can get uh, whatever case you're your disk came in. And go ahead and research uh, for your particular model how you enter the boot menu or the BIOS. Uh, on this particular Asus laptop and a lot of other Asus laptops it's hitting escape key. Uh, so right when you turn it on you hit the escape key it'll bring you up to the boot menu. On some computers it'll be delete key, F2, F9, um, it can be any number of keys. So research that for your computer and go ahead and write it on the case for the install media so that when you actually have to go to use it, um, it's right there and ready for you to pop in, press whatever key you need to, and boot right from the disk. All right, backup completed. All right, now we have our backup media ready to go. Let's go ahead and eject that. So there it is. That's our Windows 8.1 installation media ready to go. Now, um, me being kind of a geeky guy, the reason I got a 16 gigabyte card is I'm going to put that right back in and I'm going to I'm going to put uh, all the manufacturer drivers for this model onto that disk. And I'm also going to put uh, some programs like VLC and um, 7-Zip. So in here I just create a folder called Drivers. And we'll create another folder called Apps. And so I'll copy all of my manufacturer drivers into that folder. Just go to your manufacturer's website, go to your model specific driver download page and download all the drivers for this model and put them in that folder there. And then any apps that you normally install like Adobe Acrobat, um, Flash, VLC, all that stuff, go ahead and copy those into your apps folder. That way, once uh, you have your clean install done, you just open up your drivers folder, install any missing drivers, open up your apps folder, and install all your commonly used apps. And that's it. We just created our Windows 8.1 backup media completely legally and easily using Microsoft provided tools. Um, gone are the days of searching for a good ISO. They actually make it easy now. Bravo, Microsoft. Should have done this 10 years ago. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the description below and on the little eye guy up here. And uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button.